Hello everyone, we are talking today, we are talking about uh, John, and I have some ideas that I want to share with you. For example, when we start uh, the reading, we can see, uh, John was in jail because uh, he rebuked the king for what uh, he was doing. He was taking the wife of his brother, so basically he was in adultery, and John rebuked them. Uh, so the king put John in, in jail. So one of the first things that we can see here is that bad things happen to good people. Uh, I, some people told me that uh, this idea that uh, when you have problems, normally it's for sin, or you are sick for a long time, it's because you are a sinner, or because you have something in your life you have to, that you have to solve, but it's not like that. Simply, bad things happen to good people, and we can see that on, in all the Bible. Uh, the best example that we can see in, on the Bible is um, Job, because all the trouble that he had, uh, he w wasn't sinning. So, so the first thing is that I want to change th this idea that when you become a Christian, everything will be good for you. That is not true. You will have problems. Uh, you will be sick, you will have a lot of troubles. The only difference is that God is with you in everything. The other thing that we have here is uh, you don't have some troubles because uh, he, he was expecting something from Jesus. As we remember, he is around 30 years old. He, will, he has been preparing he, himself for the moment when he will come uh, outside of the desert and he will preach, prepare the way, the way for the Lord. And he, he was doing his job. He was uh, doing everything that God told him, but he is in jail now for that. And he, he doesn't have a problem because he is in jail, but he has a problem with Jesus because uh, Jesus wasn't doing what he was expecting that he will do. Uh, some people uh, say that it's possible John, uh, he was expecting that Jesus will come and he will take the power and he will uh, take out of the country all the Roman and finally he will uh, start a new kingdom in that place. But Jesus wasn't doing that. So uh, what the situation? He has some filters in his brain. He, he, he was seeing, okay, God is working, but God has to work in this way. And Jesus was working in the other way. So what is, is him the, the one that uh, we are expecting? Or oh, it's possible we have to expect a, a different one. It's possible it was a mistake. And it's not Jesus, the Son of God. It's not Jesus, the, the one uh, who are, we are expecting. So he sent his disciple to Jesus to us. Is you the one, or, or, or we have to expect another person, uh, another person who God will send? And what Jesus say? Look, what is happening? Uh, blinds are seen. Uh, dead people are coming alive. So that is happening now. So tell John what is happening. So the disciples, John disciples come back and was uh, telling him what is happening. And Jesus say, look, there are no other prophet bigger than John. Moses, Elijah, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, no one of them was bigger than John. But one person in the kingdom of God is bigger than John. Why? Because John failed to recognize the word of God in Jesus. So his expectation uh, were blinding him from the reality that God was doing and on that moment. And that is happening with a lot of people. For example, for a long time I'm telling here that in Kyrgyzstan we have a revival. But it's a different revival. But some people are 
to telling us, look, uh, will be a revival there, the prophet in that place says that, the other prophet says the other thing, but they are not seeing what is doing, what God is doing in this place. And God is working between us. We can see all these uh, last two years, they can show us that God is working. When people ask me, where was God during the pandemic? I can say, God was outside the pharmacy in the rain, waiting to buy some prescription for people or in the supermarket, in the queue in the supermarket, uh, in the call, waiting to buy things for people in need. So God is working here. God is doing his job. And we can be part of what God is doing. We have to pray. God, open my eyes so I can see what you are doing in this time here. Otherwise, what will happen is that we will miss the word of God, the revival of God. God will pass and we will remain uh, without seeing what is happening. So God is working here in Kruken. And one of the things that can happen is that our expectations are blinding us from what God is doing. And we are not seeing what he is, how he is working in our community, how he is working in the middle of us because our expectations are high. So we have to lower our expectation, put the, our expectation in the side and start seeking for what God is doing, how he is working. This is a different time. After the pandemic, we are in a different world. Uh, but God is working here in, in the middle of us. Uh, he's working by Be a Good Neighbor. He's working in the small groups. So we have to be part of that. We, we're part of the one small group. The thing is, it's possible you have other ideas of how we can meet and how we can grow, but the small group is the way how we can grow and how we can, uh, God can release all our gifts, all our spiritual gifts, and how we can grow and be, be empowered and be a blessing for our community. So please, I invite you, be a part of one small group. If you are not, talk to us and we can start a new group for you. And in that way, we can be part of what God is doing. Uh, remember that we are in Kruken. Kruken is the center of the universe. <laughs> God bless you. The light of life.